Hello, all. We're just getting warmed up here with special guest Sonia Disappear Fear. Take a moment to share. We are doing the same. And uh, we'll get started in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> share it with your friends. Share it with your mama. <laughs> Oh, you do? Share. Sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's great. That's awesome. Well, that's especially important now because it's June Pride Month. Of course, yes. yes so, yes. share, absolutely. You cannot have enough share, can you? Tracy. We got a little bit of a thunderstorm rolling through at the moment, so fingers crossed internet is going to be okay through all that. <laughs> yes, fingers crossed. It's really hard to play, though, when your fingers are crossed. So. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Good to see you out there. Yeah, Jamie Katz. I mean, Jamie is usually with us. Hey, Jamie Katz from North Carolina. <laughs> and we got Michael. We have many Michaels usually, so. Cool. But Michael Serena, hello. Cool. I hear Rob winging his way up the stairs. <laughs> I'm realizing that I retuned for the jamming with her, and now I'm totally... Oh, we can play a different song. Oh, play something else. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? All right. <laughs> Not this for me. Hello. We're live from the living room tonight because air conditioning does not happen in the lair, but it happens in the it living It could. Room. I mean, if we were strong together, it'd be just fine. Everything <laughs> would be under control. Um, but we weren't sure, like... I, I don't know Sonya real well. Like, maybe you're really dainty. I don't know. Like, uh, actually, spending a little more time with you, I think we would have been fine being swampy downstairs, but yeah, it's, it's, fine. it's better for the guitars. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. Just for the guitars. For the guitars. <sighs> oh, maybe I should grab my glasses. I can't quite they? see I'll that. Grab, grab them for you. Well, that was, that was a huge assumption on your part that I had <laughs> any idea where my glasses were. This is my life, finding it. Oh, they're right. Look at that. They're right next uh, to you. There maybe I'll go. wear my glasses tonight. <laughs> yes. Glasses are cool. Oh, look at all those comments. You can so see nice. things. Susan <laughs> Schneider. <clears throat> now, at some point, we're going to have to discuss, because Susan, now she's put that capital D on the disappear fear, um, and I but uh, totally talked to you about like arbitrary, arbitrary capitalization, because with you, Sonia, and Ilyami, we both have a whole lot of no. It's not that no. That's not the capital that you use. The lowercase i was. It, we both have lowercase i's. Yes. Um, and so at some point, we definitely should do that. We should chat about that. We should because um, I, yeah, because yeah. 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 See, that's a good place for a should. Some people don't like that. But we'll play some music first. We'll play some music first, yeah. And then we'll talk about arbitra arbitrary capitalization. And then I think Susan Schneider will also want to know all about. Everything that Terry ever did on your website that's tie-dye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know I should not leave. That girl has called me by the collar. It's oh, all what a kiss could mean. Departure with a promise. My fellow passengers are discontent. The FAA has much to say. It's too much baggage anyway. Pull me out of line and have your way with me and throw me back again. Nothing to do after all. It's what you get from looking out of place and see me. Wow, well, hell. Oh, so excited before dawn. 
If I look like something other than I am, I can't bitch about delays. Well, I know I should not leave. That girl has caught me with her je ne sais quoi, but I know how. Well, I know what one could mean. It's gonna be a long, hard departure. A harder landing still the one that has apologies. I can't hear them for the racing of my heart. They near lynched me on the plane for speaking out of turn. I think I must have muttered something about God. But you who could blame me now as the night explode around? It's what you get for flying late for dawn. And if I look like something other than I am, I can't bitch about delays. Coming once again, and people sit in rage. I haven't cared in years, so what they think? The fingers claw upon the clocks as they try and stretch the time with surgery and perjury and God. And I'm so sorry, sweetness, but I booked this years ago, and I'm leaving in the morning for my fight. I got too much on my mind, and now there's someone on my lips. You must be crazy to be ready for my life. Oh, hey, hey, hi, hey, hate to be late. Oh, hey, hey, hi, hey, hate to be late. All the 90 where I'm going, yeah. Christmas, Christmas morning, we'll find Texas, Texas and back home. I hear it's snowing. Give me back the trains, those DCs take their toll on me. I swear to you that I won't make a fuss. Clanging beast of stealing concrete. Did you feel the want of it for me? Yeah, I know you felt the heat. If I seem like something other than I am, won't you please excuse the dust pardon all my mess? Like planes, they will let me board regardless of the fireworks exploding in my chest. Hold me in the station, I'm no danger after all. You kiss me like it's snowing and they won't let us take off. I'm talking, I'm trusting slow and sweet. Well, I won't bitch about delays. Gotta watch out for those jumps. I gotta warm up. <laughs> um, thank you so much for coming over. This is Sonia Disappear Fear. I'm never quite sure. Like, do I do I get to just call you Sonia, or do I have to use the whole thing? You you can just whatever. You can, okay. You okay. can call me Disappear, and then I might like that. No, <laughs> no. Although at the moment, you can say Sonia Sonia Disappear Fear. Okay. The, the, the proper bra branding is the Sonia Disappear Fear. But but you can say Sonia because it's my name. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's my name. It's my name. It's my name. I want that as a t-shirt. It's my name. Um, I'm so flattered that you joined us here. And if you do end up disappearing, I know that the, our, our wonderful, precious cat is hiding in the basement. So if you're sort of like, well, you know, maybe I just need some cat time, we know that you might. She's like three, three, three cats in one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, has yeah. a lot of cat. Um, he. 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 He, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, cat sitting I, I, I for pronouns. <laughs> pronouns. I'm cat pronouns. sitting for two cats right now. And the... Both of them combined are less cat than our cat, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Wow. 
Um, hey, Gordon Nash tuned in from New York. Gordon, Gordon Den, son of Ethelred. I want to know more about Gordon Den, son. Oh, wait, no. Is that just Gordon Call Nash under enough? Oh, I see. We're in uh, multiple places. Call, Call her Miss Fear. My photography teacher name was, my photography teacher was named Mr. Fear. He calls me every once in a while, and, and so my phone just lights up and says, Fear. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Um, so, Sonia, I've known about you for a very, very long time. In college, back when I was first picking up the guitar, friends of mine would say, oh, well, you know, what were you listening to? And I was like, the Indigo Girls and some very, I mean, I was mostly a metalhead, but acoustic-wise, I was, and so they would say, oh, but do you know Disappear Fear? They're my local, they're my heroes locally. Uh -huh. And having friends who, you know, were so inspired by you here in Baltimore, um, was you know how I became a first aware of your existence, um, Sarah Pinsker, I think you know was was and now yes. she's doing all this amazing sci-fi writing and yeah. everything like that. So you've inspired greatness, you know. <laughs> and then more recently, over COVID, we got to sort of brush brush elbows digitally. And then at the Reba Heyman tribute show, it was I think that may have been the first person I encountered you, first time I encountered you in person, and that was amazing because you glow in person in a way that I've never. <laughs> Encountered online. You did edit that thing that w that does show that there was like. <laughs> yeah. What was that purple thing? Oh, the purple thing. I was like, oh. I was like, just um, there's an angelic like, filter that we just brought in and yeah, it worked out well. No, yeah. it was nothing. <laughs> it, was like, it just was there, and and Rob saw it, and he was like, and I was like, can you like just cut amp this that up? Video? Just amp that up. Yeah, cool. Um, and so. Uh, do I have anything else to say on that topic other than, and now I, we get to actually sort of be in one place and we're going to trade songs back and forth. And I'm, thank you for coming over. I am delighted to be here. And it's so cool to be so close to what you're doing. Like, I, I feel like, I, like, I, like I'm like at the primary, like this is great. <laughs> primary ignition point right here. <laughs> oh. Sonia, play us a song, please do. Let's just do this all night. We're just going to play songs back and forth at each other. So this is in J. It's called Long, Long Way to Go. Yes. Yeah. 
lives in that modern town of L.A. His answering machine said, leave a message, friend. It said, practice random acts of kindness and senseless acts of beauty and put your cliché soft. Here to mess you up. <laughs> nice. All good, all good. I'll just be hanging on that G there and wait for the lyrics to come around. <laughs> <laughs> I am very aware of that. Like I was just I was definitely weighing my head as we first got started, and I was like doing the little blah, 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 blah for a couple of lyrics here and there. But um, you know, we'll just share the the lyrical cloud waiting for them to come down. <laughs> just hang on the G, you're right. <laughs> hang on the G. Hey, Steve Patton. <laughs> yeah, picking it out, picking it out, picking it out. Mm. Hey, that's Marianne Cataldo from oh, nice. up in Marblehead. Ma Pam and Marianne. Hey there. Where's Marblehead? In uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. It's really okay. pretty. Cool. It's where the waves come in. Where, where do they go? The waves. How, how does it? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Actually. Yeah. Phones on, but just go do that a couple times. I want to pan it for them. Okay. <laughs> Pam use me. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was those were the waves. Yeah, I, I couldn't get the rocks all in there, but that's all right. That's thank all right. Thank you. The panning yeah. was mm. oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, spicy. With, with panning. Spicy. <laughs> it's a good dream. Um. So. When you started off, when we were jamming earlier, yes. you were playing a song uh, uh, that had at least a momentary reference to how, you know, you never know how long things are going to last. Sometimes, you know, things are just going to be over. Um, not entirely what this song is about. <laughs> to be said for growing up There's nothing to be said for watching what has passed Cause none of this will last 
nothing to be said for standing still There's nothing to be said for waiting till you're asked Cause none of this will last Work the woman shine and cover them in lies Just let them see the prize Something to be said for taking what is mine Cause none of this can last Silent now, the feast on what they fed. None of them are seated yet. You know they learn to live with what they get. Sure, God will get their souls, and some spouse will get their flesh. Eyes and flame and flash and fire. <laughs> yeah, the dreamers get the best. There's something to be said for shutting up. There's something to be said for diving deep. There's something to be said for going very fast. None of this can last. Something to be said for shutting up. There's something to be said when diving deep. There's something to be said for going very fast. Cause none of this can last. Thank you. <laughs> Sonia, you... you the sound of thousands. <laughs> oh, I wish. I, I was thinking so much about, you know, you talking at the dinner table about how fortunate we are in what we do. Mm-hmm. And yes. I don't know if you ever have the thing where you're like, holy crap, they pay me to do this. <laughs> and then maybe the G chord. They pay me to make weird warbles with my mouth and my <laughs> vibrating guitar strings and I can make, a, this is nuts. <laughs> I'm so lucky. We're so lucky. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 It's vibes. It's, it's vibrations. Yeah. I mean, how did that happen? <laughs> I have no idea. What was? Like, how did the world turn so that, boop, that happened? <laughs> Do you remember the first time someone paid you to play? Yes. What was it like? What was it like? What was it? What was it? What, so yeah. it's very. I was part of the Rutstein sisters, and I was paid. So right at the time, I was working at the Beef Inn on Smith Avenue. Was it? This was it the, in the book. Beef Inn. It was called the Beef Inn. <laughs> I was a vegetarian. Following <laughs> 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 that, totally okay. ironic. All right. <laughs> of course, but yes, I did become a vegetarian the following year. But at the time, I did eat burgers. So, um, so yeah, um, I, I worked at the Beef Inn. I was making a dollar forty an hour. Uh-huh. Jimmy Edelberg because he was a guy, was making $1.65 an hour. And it was just as hard to put the ketchup into the ketchup containers as it was to vacuum. But anyway, that's just the way it went. So anyway, and then I got this offer to play some songs, some like, you know, kind of like Hebrew folk songs and my songs at, um, at a Purim celebration at my synagogue. And I was going to be paid $50 for, for 30 minutes. Well, what happened was um, I only ended up being playing for 10 minutes and made $50. And I was like, this is a whole lot better than the yes, beef yeah. This is easy and I love it. <laughs> and it made so much more money. <laughs> so the Rutsteins, you had a, you have sisters? That yes, I, have a, I do have many sisters. They're many coming sisters. out of the woodwork. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. Um, no, I, well, yes, but um, um, <laughs> I wonder if they're watching. Um, hello. Um, I mean, hello. Um, uh, 
What was the, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's answers to the first paying. gig, the first paying oh, gig. Yeah, yeah the that first was time first, someone. What about yours? Yeah. What about your first paying gig? I actually feel really bad that I don't know that I totally remember anymore. Oh. Um, but the first time I think, uh, uh, because I went through a lot of bands before I got to play my own stuff. Gotcha. Um, I sort of slowly snuck my own songs into things. Yeah. But I think the first time anyone paid me to show up and play music would have been um, I was playing bass in a, in hindsight, maybe we sucked, I'm not really sure, a uh, reggae band called Red Zion in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh. Um, and uh, I had a bass amp the size of a refrigerator, so I'm so grateful that I was getting this paid because it was things. so freaking huge. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just be like... It's just a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, somebody handed me a wad of cash and, and a beer that I wouldn't drink because I wasn't drinking. Huh. Um, and uh, and I had this vague memory of being out in a field in Baltimore City. And yeah, that was, that was a joyous time. I played with a uh, string quartet people from my high school at one of the players' bar mitzvahs. And I also sang karaoke at said bar mitzvah. And I don't think I've ever sang karaoke since then. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Takes a lot of whiskey to sing karaoke, yeah. or yeah. I, I did um, <laughs> red respect Aretha Franklin's. Nice, nice. Respect. I probably didn't suck. I don't know. Uh, but karaoke I, at all? <laughs> but they didn't. They they didn't pay you to sing karaoke. No, they paid you. No, to, they paid as me the to. Quartet. Yeah, that would yeah. suck. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, have you ever I think they were trying to get people to do the karaoke, and they were like, well, I bet the musicians can, you know. I know, yeah. I know, you know, yeah, no, I can't. I'm not a good karaoke. Uh -uh. My, my sister is apparently a good karaoke -er. Um karaoke -er, I think, yeah, is where the stress. Oh, okay, yeah. thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. Yeah, that's okay. Um, but not, not, I didn't get that gene. Cindy got it all. <laughs> gold hey. finger was my uh, debut, but we're not going to go down that. Um, gold finger, James Bond. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Gonna, are we gonna you should play a song. Cause <laughs> are we? Gonna, are we going to talk about June Pride? No. Oh, you, you need, yeah, bring it up. No, no, go no. There. Just... Wait, this gold. Wait. This song. No, I was. <laughs> what was the connection? I was just going another way. <laughs> you should probably take us another way. <laughs> Edward Bailey says he remembers that in.
That's a cool tune. Uh, what is that called? What is that called? It's called Laws of Nature. Laws but of I, Nature. But I flipped the I flipped the um the the verses. It really goes. It wasn't wrong to be gay until the Roman age is second, and then um, about the Pope. You know. Maybe perhaps being. It caught me off guard because I felt like we'd, we'd switched gears all of a sudden. We did. Like, we yeah, did. Yeah. It's a very strange song. And well, we did because I went to the F sharp instead of the F. Or what else? Oh, no, I meant like contextually. Like, oh, yeah. I was like, well, that was the meat of that of that song sandwich. <laughs> it came right at the end. Are we ending soon? Cause, oh, man, that's that was like, I want to spend time with this. Um, no, wow. Cool, cool yeah, song. Yeah, so I, I, I'll, I'll send you a piece of it. Yeah. It's from the Seed in the Sahara CD, which. Um, I got the original band members together uh, in no- in February to do the 25th anniversary of that album, which we recorded in LA with Roy Bitten producing, and um, it was really crazy and fun. But they were all there; they were all we were on stage at the Gordon Center, and it was really awesome. And I was wow. thinking that's a song we did not do that night, but I just I it's you know there's. You know, it's fun to do. It's, and your your music went, oh, this is It's this good and tense and, <laughs> and, and gritty, you know? I, I like I like the songs where I get to f- I feel my guitar, you know? Yeah, and that yeah. song is a feel my guitar sort of song. And just, um, yeah. It felt right. You know yeah. what I really get, and I, and I know you guys are going to do another song, so that'll be good, and I'll make this short, mm-hmm. is that the other day I was talking to my friend Mark in New York. I don't know if he's, he's probably working right now, so cool. This is awesome. Um, it, it, um, and he said, this, the difference between um, uh, many musicians who kind of like sort of fade in and fade out or, or, or drop in, blam, and then nothing. Some of it is that um, perhaps that you, there's the I want to be a musician and then there's the I have to yes. be a musician. Indeed. And yeah. you're clearly in the have to yeah. <laughs> place. And it's so palpable. It's just awesome. So, yeah. I'm in the room where it happens. <laughs> That's the basement, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, there's something I... Well, you were a visual artist my feels, first. Deep in my but... feels about the response to that, yeah. yeah. Um, but that feeling of, like, you have to do this. I think often the difference between those of us who are on the stage or the people who just crack in this world and can't handle it are that we found we found the way to output our muse we found the way to output our rage we found the way to you know deal with our angsts I guess Uh, I'm not saying that learning to play ukulele in grade school would save a lot of lives but I'm not saying that it wouldn't it worked Um, for LP yeah Where are you going, Rob? We have no plan, which is sometimes the best kind of night. We're just, yeah. I'm just gonna. Okay, it's a baritone song. <laughs> it narrows it down slightly. <laughs> yeah. And thank you for tuning in. Uh, you can support the night financially <laughs> at paypal.me slash illyamy or venmo at illyamy if you so desire and we're just happy that you're yeah. here with us also we, we split everything with yeah. our guests as we come in and, and we're just so grateful to have people in and we want to make sure that we you said erratic I think was what you sent to me erratic was terrible on the way over <laughs> um, which is a type of uh, Hispanic <laughs> giraffe and uh, it was awful like she was attacked by giraffes on the way in so if we can send her away with some gas money to make up for the erratic, uh, that would be great. I love text. I love text foibles. Erratic <laughs> uh, is my new favorite. There's a friend who calls me Sabi because of a horrible text. Um, a text foible yeah. he calls me Sabi now. Mm. Just Sabi. Hey, Sabi. <laughs> Exercise and just how much I can sympathize with the fallacy of compromise and knowing when to duck. 
who's in, who's out. You gotta learn just when to bail out. This year has been the exercise, and I'm all worn out. I wish there was a pill. Take it quick and never feel ill. Fall in line, dry swallow too, and never read the bill. I, I wish there was a pill. Take it quick and never question it. It's the medicine man. It's the cure for being an American. This year has been an exercise, but it's better than a diet. Obsessing over something size, swearing everyone's a liar. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out You gotta know what it is and what it's all about This year has been the exercise And I'm all worn out I wish there was a pill Take it quick and never feel ill Fall in line Dry swallow too and never read the bill I, I wish there was a pill Take it quick and never question it It's the medicine man It's the cure for being an American We used to say I don't care what you look like I don't care what you make Where you came from, I just care why you came, yeah. But today, somehow, a brave new world is coming a brand new day. So be careful what you say and take this pill, and take it quick and never feel ill. Click to sign. Try swallow too and never read between the lines Take the spell Take it quick and never question shit It's the medicine man But how is this American? And just how much I should exercise My willingness to exercise Most anything around me Get out, get out, get out, get out You gotta know that you fail now This year has been the exercise And I'm so much stronger now We don't need a pill Nothing saccharin to never feel ill I'm feeling fine You gotta learn to read between the lines and Take the points and end, but always question it. Take your medicine, man. We're gonna be the brand new Americans. Oh, we don't need a pill, something saccharin to never feel ill. I'm feeling fine. You gotta learn to read between those lines. We don't need a pill, just take the points and end, but always question it. Take your medicine, man. We're gonna be the brand new Americans. With your hair <laughs> and I think the more I see you respond to the emotions around you the more I understand how you just you brought it up yes <laughs> so it's like tunes in yes it's a tuning process <sighs> my
my hair just gets lanker and moister. And mm. <laughs> um, do you know Pat Wichter? Yes. Oh, Pat Wichter and I have to trade hair tips every once in a while oh. um, because he's the only person who I think is the same age as me and the same cult of folk metal that I'm in that also has the same long hair issues. And yes. we have to talk about, like, oh, how do you keep it from, do you keep body on stage? And, you know, whatever. <laughs> Neither here nor there. I, you know, one of the best things um, ever that, um, that I saw was um, Bonnie Raitt's hair come all the way down. Oh. I was on the floor. It was 1978. It was the spring. I was at Boston University, and we went, like, very far away. Like, not really. I mean, it was like to Smith College or something. It was another part of Massachusetts, but it was very far away from Boston, and not really. And um, and 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 I was in the on the floor. It was just like one of those floors, and her hair just. I mean, she came out. It was all just. Well, it was still red, but yeah. it she you know it was just all perfect. And then by the end of the first song, you know, it was rocking it was out. Just, nice. Yes, it was just a mess. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's relatable. You know? Yeah. Oh, when it's like, oh, you're human. Yeah, that's oh a huge deal. And Absolutely. she was so good. Like, yeah. she was... She's a beast, yeah. She is. Mm. She is. I was Freebo playing with her at, at that time, oh, I wonder? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Probably, because she's yeah. a huge Yeah, yeah. She's out of here. <laughs> oh, she's getting her water. Yeah. I told you not to call She's going to go find my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, where are you? Uh, so, yeah, it was a hey, song Prince called New cool. American. Um, it's about uh, very strongly the idea that uh, if you are afraid of what a new America might look like, then maybe you ought to um, question that fear of what you're afraid of changing. Um, and that is something that we're putting on our new album, which is not being recorded. We're recording it in our basement. Oh, it's the magic place. hang out with us in our basement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take inspiration and be like, oh, Yeah, we played that perfect. last week with the quartet um, with percussion and three-part yeah, harmony yeah, and other so guitars, but it's... Head. If yeah, there's ever a moment when we look like we're rocking out more than is strictly appropriate for how much we're actually rocking, it's because we're hearing the rest of the band <laughs> in our heads. No, I think I, I'm so guilty of that all okay, the time. Okay, so, yeah, and you know, now you understand the hair yeah, thing. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I know, I know. And so I'm solo a lot. And, of course, that song was recorded and toured with my full band, Laws of Nature, but as most of these were done with the whole band. And, um, yeah, I, I, I you know. But it's interesting to see if you can make it work. Yeah. The much yeah. Oh, that's one of my favorite things about bit. music is you, you toss it back and forth to different players or different contexts, and it's always evolving. Um, yeah. what, what are you going to evolve in front of us now? Uh. What's going to happen? You've got a list. It's very professional to have a list. I, I only have six songs. Oh, so. okay. That's it's only six <laughs> And one of them I'm definitely not doing. <laughs> so five. <laughs> it's a whim. A whim. Um, a whim, a whim list. list. Yes. So maybe this will work. Radio Land, or right in this room, if you feel like going like this. Just 
could fly She fell in love with the way he moved She took a wrong turn, then a right And drove the day into the night The headlights caught her like the sea And then Drives past the ticket master, disguised as a pink computer queen. In the rain, the paint runs down the pony. He's a Yeah, you know, <laughs> some songs are like that. <laughs> yeah, what a weird. I love the ones where I'm just like, huh. It's something I feel like I don't get enough in the folk circles because it's like so focused on this is the story. You must get the story. <laughs> and so when I'm just left with this strange, wonderful, miasmic, cool, cool, fear and loathing and <laughs> <laughs> miasmic feel. Um, cool tune song i am afraid of my voice and when someone gives me a very simple task like just go do 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 as you can just hear as i just did i won't maintain the same note <laughs> nope and then kristen starts looking at me and whether or not she's telling me that i'm doing good or i'm doing badly doing i don't fine. know yeah you were fine. I, I was I sure was i was sure too. she was like what are you doing robert if you if you move then i'll move and it's okay. I mean, and you're, you're good, and the rhythm is there. It's all. I wish I had I my words. I love what you did, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I don't know That's where cool. to go from there. Hmm. I wish I had dupe songs. What? No, I had I had this song for a long time that uh, had like a this is a worm song. It was all about worms, oh, yeah. and then people had to do the worm dance and do 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 do. But I don't remember the, the thing at all. Uh, this is a terrible intro for a song. <laughs> yeah, especially we're going to just segue into a completely different song. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely that's, that's, that's okay. what's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. If Gordon Nash is in the house, Gordon Nash, yes. we should sing him something nerdy. Mm, yes. Cover some police. No, Robustiano. <laughs> we know how you like to watch us do train wrecks. That is not what we're doing today. <laughs> <laughs> if Heather was here. If Heather was here, yeah. Cover some <laughs> Although, okay, for Robustiano, just for a moment. Here's lots of reverb. That's all you get. That has nothing to do with the police, just for a bus piano. <laughs> this is our nerdy love song. It's about how you can be each geeky, but be geeky about different things.
she likes to tug on my beard She says it helps take a handle on me And I can see that As long as she's gentle I am a delicate thing I only like the rough and tumble When it's time to come And level up for the occasion So I'd say that when I need some direction My woman, she can tug hard on my beard so I say to myself, how'd I get so lucky? And my friends, they all say, man, how'd you get so lucky? Well, when I, if I kiss the dice And I rolled a natural 20 I have no idea whether or not you're like a, a nerdy person at all. You probably actually don't have a lot of Dungeons and Dragons in your soul. Um, but uh, so a natural 20 is the maximum die roll in a 20 sided die. And a 20 sided die is used in role playing games like Dungeons and Dragons or Rifts or Palladium book systems or so. Okay, okay, you got the idea. No, yeah, but no, I, I, I was thinking that's a great die. I mean, like, like that would it be a many sided die? Yeah, oh yes, it's quite a polygon. Very um, so a natural 20 is, a, is, a, is an unmodified die roll, and um, it's a critical strike. So in a relationship setting, my wife is my critical strike, as she's my natural 20. I felt like I needed to explain that piece of context you, to you and helped. anyone. Yes. Yeah, okay, you're welcome. You. Oh, uh, a woman, she likes to drive. My woman, she likes the sci-fi. A woman grew up on 695 and down 29 to see Star Wars eight or nine times. But my woman, she likes her rage. She's got opinions on lanes and ran porgs. We blasted past soccer moms and swerving husbands and we were screaming, that's not how the force works. And I say to myself, How'd I get so lucky? Uh, my friends, they all say, man, how'd you get so lucky? Well, with that, if I kiss the dice, I rolled a natural 20. Woman, she's independent, kind of worried about singing my woman when she finally hears this. She's either going to love it or she's going to hate it or she hates it. No one else will ever, 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 ever hear this. Maybe if I gave her a solo. Not but with those pits parts that she hates woman with her bow. Oh. So by way of preemptive apology for accepted song forms of possessive terminology, here we go with Kristen Jones on the show. Just likes board games. No RPGs, no PC games, no TV sports, no psychodrama. Well, Scrabble, yes, paranoia, no. She don't even care about Pokemon Go. Just don't play those games. And I say to myself, how'd I get so lucky? And my friends, they all say, man, how'd you get so lucky? Well, with life, I kiss the dice. Roll a natural 20. Roll a natural 20.
about Paul Mishler, though. You know, yeah, that's right. I'm going to mansplain the hell out of that thing. That's right. Because sometimes it's time to explain where the D20 concept comes from. That's not how the force works. That's so awesome. You know what would be really cool, too? And this is just my brain going. Tell me about the I don't know his name, but the guy that uh, does the Blue Traveler harmonica thing. Mm-hmm. It would be so, like, it would uh, lock in yeah, with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've had some harp with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I, I figured that's what you were going to throw down, because you got there these harmonica oh, things. Oh, yeah, just that's, leap in. that's me. <laughs> Mr. Traveler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's how you long it takes to learn. John that. Popper. John, John Popper. Popper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. He's, he's playing. I mean, that would mm-hmm. be. Did you. Is that a recorded song? I don't know. Yes. It is. It's I on our know. album Cicada. I am getting yes. that album. Recorded in my basement. I can hook you up with that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some of the best stuff comes out of love my basement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and some I, of the best Ukrainians in the world are living in basements right ugh. now. So. Ugh. Another Do you have any songs that you want to go down that rabbit hole with? Um. No, I'm working on one right now. Mm. Well, um, I'm working on one right now. Well, maybe three, but definitely one uh, on piano. But it's it's not. You spent some time with some folks from I, Ukraine recently. I did. Recently. I did. Yep. So uh, I've been touring Germany regularly, and one of the things I really was hoping to be able to do this year was to be able to play for Ukrainians that were living in, temporarily in in Germany, mm. and um, and I and I got to mm. to to. Uh, Different friends of pr- promoter friends of mine um, were able to organize um, people in Hof, Germany, which is very eastern Germany, and then also in Ustrak Winkel. Winkel. Sorry, that just <laughs> makes me smile. Ustrak Winkel. <laughs> it's a very cool place. Um, and uh, and so yeah, and so the one in Ustrak Winkel, my friends from Hof were able to take a caravan of Ukrainians that. R- I recently relocated there temporarily, and um, and it was so cool to see them there as well. It was a four-hour drive. Then when they had school the next day, but then their teacher mm. said they didn't have school, so that was lucky because <laughs> 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 they got back super late. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, it was um, it was pretty amazing. And now I'm giving WhatsApp guitar lessons. Wow. To yeah. a, um, to a, a new f- a new young friend. He's 11, and he loved the concert and really wanted to play guitar and I was I told him I would get him a guitar his name is Arsene and he's very cool and he can really break dance <laughs> he can really break dance yes. that was not the ending of the sentence I was I, I was already either. nodding like he said can I show you a trick and then he did this amazing what? trick wow. isn't that amazing huh. huh yeah yeah my brain had already was already nodding with he's a very good player or he's a very good <laughs> learner his English is very good I don't know where I thought that sentence was going to go was, but I was full heartedly agreeing <laughs> And then I got there, and I was like, uh, oh. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love he, it. He, 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 and, and he's that amazing anyway. He's, he's also a natural. He's going to be fantastic at guitar. Well, yeah. Uh, song, 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 song. I'm thinking of this one because it's a little groove, too. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, and, and it'll probably – see, it's kind of good that you're not completely familiar because then you would think there was a format. <laughs> and I'm all over the place with that tonight. So. I have the suspicion that the people who know you pretty well wouldn't expect a format either. <laughs> Am I wrong about that? <laughs> talk to my band. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I work. <laughs> with this, I just feel so free and there's so much energy in the room. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like the Marc Chagall paintings? Yeah. So the Marc Chagall paintings like always have people like floating. They're never like, their feet are not on the ground. Mm-hmm. And that's what this feels like to me. Like, oh. like I didn't really understand why he did that. It kind of angered me a little bit because like, put their feet on the ground. But his <laughs> feet are not on the ground. <laughs> his damn art, you're going to do what you yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I had an opinion, I mean. <laughs> so it's not so you dainty. You can go paint your own people with their feet on the damn ground. <laughs> well, I think he just, you know, it's that idea of that where, where, um, uh, spirits that that took on this body as opposed to a body that took on a spirit, <laughs> right? So, mm-hmm. which just this is just the outside, but the real, the real big part is the, and the driving part is the spirit. The so. meat is not the meat. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> it's like, what? But here it is, kind of. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is called Gangsters of Love and whatever it goes. chance How many times have you 
happened was Doug Gamsler, who was the state's attorney at the time, said that, well, if we're not accepting um, uh, ma same-sex marriage in Maryland, that means we can't accept out-of-state um, uh, heterosexual marriage, mm -hmm. <laughs> different sex marriage, uh, into into uh, Maryland, and that they weren't going to do that because they had already done that. The precedent was is to accept people who get married in another state, in, uh, in our state, and that was one of the things, big things, they got the ball rolling in, hmm. in a more equitable direction. Yes. <laughs> just, so I'm just I'm in that place because it's June. Of course. Yes, and, absolutely. And, and I put a rainbow flag up in Little Jerusalem last night, a.k.a. Pikesville. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. You're pissing off some neighbors or they're going to they're gonna put up with it? Well, it's, okay. we're, like, it's high up. So it's sort of like this building is cool. <laughs> 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 At least that's what I think when I. I uh, <laughs> remember the bizarre timing of of getting a chance to um, play uh, Dave and Patrick's wedding before it was legal, and so we played the pseudo wedding, you know, and then had to come back and play it again once it was, you know, once <laughs> once they could legally get married, oh, yeah. which was an interesting. I guess uh, I guess it's, that's that's the silver lining, right? We get to do it twice, but um, yeah. Who's who gets to legally bind contracts? Yeah. Isn't that fascinating? Yep. <laughs> I'm glad we're there now. Let us now go back. <laughs> I think we're we're fortunate in Maryland. Maryland's probably going to defend things a lot better than a lot of states in the in the disunioned union. 
luminous creatures we are. That's right. Not just crude flesh. Or Bastiano. <laughs> He's just putting random stuff out there. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Luminous. Yes. All right. What you doing? Let's what talk you doing? about. Yes. <laughs> so glad everybody's listening, and that yes. they're, oh, and then we didn't get cut off by the storm. Yes, hopefully not. Don't say that loud. Don't that say that loud. Anything <laughs> can happen. Uh, okay. We've actually been very fortunate. So this is week 116, 16. I think was yeah. what my count was, and um, I think we've only been knocked off the air once by a storm. Wow. And uh, yeah, only one time we were at Heather's house, mm -hmm. and we saw the internet get worse and worse. And worse, and finally it just went kaput. And we, I don't think we, I don't remember that we lost power per se, but the internet just died. Mm -hmm. um, it's like Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> the lights will start that? flashing. I've flashing. only gotten into a little bit of it because it's scaring me too much. Oh. The, mo the current scary. season, if you need someone like to watch with, the scariness. you come yeah. over and we'll, we'll, we'll watch it together. It'll be okay. I, I'm so scared. It's so good. It's, I, yeah. But anyway, I was thinking of. Now, now we live that because k -k 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 yeah. blackout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope this works. That's how you can tell we're folk. <laughs> is that we tune? So while we're tuning up, uh, I can tell you what Illy Amy has coming up. Um, well, just Rob Solo this Saturday uh, for the Focus Board Showcase in Gaithersburg, right? Playing with Annette Waslick and Gabrielle V. And speaking about pride all this month, man, so Gabrielle is this woman who I've seen, well, no longer, we don't, we don't use the word woman for her anymore because she decided to change her, her pronouns a couple months ago or a couple years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so I'm trying to get my brain around that. So Gabriel instead of Gabriel, she just go <laughs> Zvi. I just call her Zvi because, frankly, uh, them. Call them Zvi. Okay. Um, I've been really good about that in the board meetings and everything like that. Now I'm like off the... It's because you were misgendered by you, a cat. Your brain's um, in different places. I'm <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Gabrielle Zvi uh, is this amazing activist, and I've, got, I've watched them go from being a very young, kind of unsure of themselves, ukulele player, entity coming to my open mics and things like that, developing into this just outspoken, amazing force for what they deem to be right. And I'm grateful that what I deem to be right often aligns with what they deem to be right, because I feel like I would have gotten steamrolled by them if... If I, <laughs> if I was not, because they're, they're, they're a force. Mm. And so I'm so excited to be playing with Gabrielle and, um, and Annette on Saturday, except none of us remembered that it's the DC Pride Parade. Mm. And so a big portion of their fan base is like, well, I'm going to the parade. <laughs> oh. We're like, ah! There's so many things to remember when booking your shows. <laughs> it's crazy. But it's the shows at night. It's going to be fine. You can just yeah. go to the parade first and then come visit us. I know there's probably a lot of stuff going on after, and it'll be a lot of fun. No, no. they should come. They should come. They should come. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Plus, Jamaican restaurant is going to be awesome. Yeah. So, uh, Annette is just one of the most spectacular voices, and what an exquisite writer, and she's an amazing entity. And Gabrielle is this frenetic force that I just I love watching on stage. Um, all three of us have amazing hair, so for that reason alone, you know. Uh, Give them time to think, make them answer quick. Shine that bright white light in their face. You know, only liars ever take time to think and never give them cash. Cousin God, we trust. 
If you do, you best keep their change. A self-made man wouldn't ever need it. Never give them anything. Better make them work. Cause idle hands and best intentions, that's a white man's perk. The devil's been building something, a Walmart down on the crossroads. The devil, he gave us Mexico. Build a big wall to keep him down in his hole And that wall is built for demons And animals and thugs It sure ain't built for people, man You walk 4,000 miles, a wall won't even slow you down We never gave them anything They had to get to work his idle hands and best intentions That's a white man's perk We got a different brand of martyr And people down on their knees uh, They're not praying for redemption They're praying we'll let them breathe the savior he promised bright white cities filled with gold and now there's fresh paint on blood in washington the glistening in yellow in the middle of the road and i don't buy your god can't hear you just because you can't get into church though i guess it is the devil who promises knowledge and omnipresent really is quite a very very long word and i can see these signs from heaven along with everything we've done I can live with most of my decisions, man I think you're gonna burn for this one We never gave them anything They had to get to work Cause idle hands and best intentions That's a white man's perk We got a different brand of marcher And people down on their knees Way past redemption, we're going to let them breathe. Years, for years, for years, I wrote from the middle, I think, of a lot of things so that people from both sides could identify, I guess, with what I was saying in the hopes that like, they get drawn in before I get to express, to bring the hammer of your opinion down. Um, and definitely, after the election 2016, I was done being um, unclear, I guess, um, with my opinions. So. That was one of those, one of those Trumpera songs. Trumpera, that's my new metal band. We are Trumpera. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, Jamie, yes, Saturday is live streaming, but you got to buy the ticket on focusmusic.org, um, and the uh, the price from this for the live stream is twenty dollars until the day of, and day of it goes up to twenty five. So grab that ticket now. Um, 
Yeah, it sucks, though. If you started driving from North Carolina now, you'd definitely be able to join us, and the Jamaican food is actually kind of worth the drive. What, what is Fuga said? Was it was what? It said, who Fuga said the cat? Fuga. I'm assuming that is a term Moxie, for misgendered. Um, is that Fruvist? a Moxie Fruvis uh, what's, reference? I don't think maybe? I know Moxie Fruvis well enough to know. <laughs> you, you'll, you'll tell us. You'll, you'll clarify. <laughs> yeah. I believe Gordon Nash mentioned Kathy, K- ah, Kathy for um, geographic purposes because of some place in Massachusetts, I think is why that. I don't know. Oh, we were talking about Marblehead yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Kat- Kathy's there, I think. I'm like, there's comments coming up like later. <laughs> So we thank you very, very much for tuning in. Um, we are Illy Amy. We're live from the lair here in Baltimore, Maryland with Sonia Disappear Fear, who is also Baltimore-based. I'm so glad you came back in ger- from Germany just in time to, to join us for this. Um, and uh, if you want to throw something in the tip bucket to give the gas money and the air conditioning money and the streaming money or just to encourage us and say we're not doing a bad thing, uh, paypal.me slash Illy or Venmo at Illy uh, is a big help. And then we, we always smear that all over our guests. Um, wait, I mean, in a good way. <laughs> and uh, of course, we've been putting uh, we've been putting Sonia's links up there as well. Uh, make sure you just go and buy all the tie dye merch and some CDs and some music and all. Yeah, sorts Susan, yeah, tie dye merch. Free shipping, Same. free shipping for all the Love Out Loud stuff. Free shipping for all the lo- except love except all out. the clothing Love Out Loud. There's a Love Out Loud mm. other thing that, uh. but might be free shipping on that too. But I'm not sure. But I, it's definitely on the. Clothing. Go to the website and you'll figure it out. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. <laughs> Good luck out there. <laughs> Where are you taking us now? I don't know. Okay, let's do, um, let's do, let's do. I'm gonna do this. This is a um, a, a lullaby. Um, it's a little early for it, but you know the kitties are going to sleep, mm-hmm. as in kiddies, not kitties. Oh, the kitty is asleep. I'm sure. He's, oh, he's okay. Well, then it worked yeah. before I even yeah, played perfect. it. So, <laughs> postemptive, postemptive lullaby. <laughs> That's a word. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it is. This is the princess and the honeybee. You want to play? I think so. Well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I think I was I was told to ask about this song. Oh. This is not for looking it. It in memento. In memento. <laughs> Once upon a rose lived a very little prince. Settled on her throne. She was the queen of everything that she could see. Then she fell in love with the honeybee. Every day at dawn, as the sun lit up the Honeybee would come and find the rose's tongue. She'd say hello, but he'd ignore her and just go. He was so busy, he'd miss the kisses she would. day she was gone and at first
first he didn't notice but slowly he began to feel the coldness of the So it goes, we'll never know what could have been. Thank you. So I wrote that with Casper Lapp um, in Denmark on an island, and we both just sat down because there was a rose in a vase and we were at a songwriting seminar, and I was a uh, professional songwriting teacher sort of at the seminar. You can't teach songwriting, but you know what I mean. You can guide. D uh, yeah, you know. Anyway, so I just picked up this white rose that, has, that was as pristine on Sunday, on Thursday as it had been on Sunday, and put it on the table in front of us and said, Once upon a rose lived a very little princess. And then we just huh. wrote the song. Like, That's a great. That sounds <laughs> idyllic. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. really. It was awesome. <laughs> even if I hadn't been in love before, I would have known what love was thanks to that song. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a gorgeous, what a gorgeous song. I have trouble with love songs and and, and beautiful things, and um, I have trouble staring at beautiful things, and that one I just wanted to fall into. That was oh. really lovely. Mm, that was really you. lovely. Mm. Uh, <coughs> that's always the trick when when the the guest takes you down the takes you down the beauty hole, mm -hmm. and I don't know how to climb back out. <laughs> you're trying. You're really? I don't know. Yeah. You, you you do you do it too well. I was thinking about love songs that are not really love songs. Yeah, it's a love song. It's not really a yeah. love song. Yeah. You do, this. you do, you do what you want. <laughs> I think this is going to be a newish song that we're still working on recording, working it out. Click tracks and I. No. no. This is a hard one no. to click. <laughs> My grandfather told me about his boat. He might have said ship. I don't really know. He said he ran out of the front as the planes roared in. He might have said back. It was a long time ago. My grandmother told me about her running away. She might have said towards, I don't really know. But the planes roared in, the planes roared on. They only dropped paper, but she never came home. Can you blame when the world goes to hell? It was nonstop at supper, she never shut up. Like if she left space, she'd remember the town where she grew up too fast and left even faster in the dead of the night, never making a sound. Lips pressed tight, hands pressed tighter. The thrum of a bomber, the buzz of a fighter, and stumbling with nothing. They carried my uncle. It wasn't really fair, but it sure was something. Who can you blame when the world goes to hell?
since I never bent, I'll never bend unless I do. And since I never broke, I'll never break unless I do. And since I never lied, you know I will always be true. And I will never die until I do. Dinner was tense on the 4th of July. I learned what it means when my dad looks away and my grandfather flinched in the rocket's red glare. Like there was something in the air I just couldn't smell. We slowly went deaf, we slowly went blind in my grandparents' house with their overstocked shelves. We tossed out his story, we tossed out his crimes. We threw it all out like it didn't mean something. Can you blame when the world goes to hell? Who can you blame when the world goes to hell? Who can you blame when the world goes to hell? If you spend your life running, you've got only yourself. Thank you, Gordon. Oh. Thank you, Gordon. <laughs> oh, I know. While you're standing there, oh. standing there, um, this is. It's called Start. And I figure since we're somewhere near the middle, closer to the end. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. That's the way. Yeah. But, but, but first. Maybe, Uh-oh. or maybe not. Mm. Um, the the I Iliami. Iliami. I knew that. Ili- Sanaya. Like <laughs> Iliami. <laughs> I mean. Iliami. <laughs> um, Ili- Ili- Iliami. It's my lowercase I. You've got a lowercase I. What? I do. Tell me about your arbitrary capitalization. So dis- So I just like small letters. I just think it looks cool, and but the Sonia part. The Sonia part got added to Disappear Fear because Disappear Fear was the name of the band I played with, mm-hmm. Cindy, and I, I wanted to kind of keep that name sacred, thinking that Cindy would come back to join me one year soon, and she didn't. So then I was, I mean, we did some concerts to, oh, mm. see Cindy? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's see Sonia. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so she, so well, <laughs> so um, so but 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 so uh, it ended up becoming disappear fear was bigger than me, and mm-hmm. so my label Rounder Records at the time did not want to not just have my name. Right. They wanted to keep Sonia, so it was Sonia of disappear fear, Sonia mm-hmm. and disappear fear, Sonia ampersand. I had no idea that one was not going to actually be related to one another on a computer until you actually join those things together because they are different things. Right. Yes. Right. So, um, so it's, it was crazy trying to get me reference to myself, <laughs> but, that, but yeah. most of it's still working. But anyway, um, um, the uh, small eye, the small, the small eye. eye was how I wrote my name when I was in, when I first wrote my name in school. So I wrote capital S, capital O, capital N, small I, capital A. And I just thought it looked cool. Yeah. And I sign it backwards, so it's anus. You have to be careful with that. <laughs> yes. Okay, so it's a, it's a visual thing to mm. start with. Yeah, okay. Mm. Mm. Cool. Huh. Yes, it is. That's my cities, yes. And you have some folks saying hi. The Widget Cat, Janet and Julie say hi. <laughs> hi, Janet and Julie. I'm next door, and they are good friends of mine. I would like to know the Widget Cat. I want to squeeze a widget cat. <laughs> I guess that's, is that what, what their, what their icon is? Yeah. A little cat? That's cool. Oh. Man, I wish there was an easy way to show screenshots and things like that while we were doing this, because what I really wish is people would all send us pictures of their cats. 
and then we'd be able to attract our cat back out of the basement because oh. he'd be like, cats, well, yeah, so we'll yeah. participate it in the could, cat show. It could, it could work. Yeah. Uh, probably won't. But not to distract you. Right? Yeah, sorry, sorry, play me a song. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I really want you guys to play on this okay. one. So okay. it, it's, it, it's... It's just basically that. Um. <laughs> what song is it basically that? <laughs> is that the cat? <laughs> Watching some TV on a very ordinary afternoon. A young man was talking to children. Said something about reaching for the moon. And the children listened intently. Cause the man had one arm and no legs. My country made me a soldier.
me this. Man, I just sort of wish I was playing in an Irish band some days. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sneak, sneak around, sneak around the corner. Peek. The cat, the cat is sort of making an appearance. <laughs> tail. <gasps> nope. It's Prince. No, nope. Oh. nope. There's been thunder, so the cat There's is a little right. um, yeah. skittish. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> no, my excuse is for Well, of course, my brain goes like a rainbow in the dark. <laughs> I would just play Dio. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Three claps and a nice. <laughs> What you got? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea where to go. All Those right. So we talked about this weekend. The next weekend, uh, we have two Illyamy shows um, at the Portside Alexandria Festival uh, in Old Town Alexandria by the water. Nice. Uh, we're in the afternoon there uh, with the quartet with Rowan. And then we go to Seven Locks Brewing in Rockville. Probably a trio. Probably a trio. Unless Rowan just I don't takes know. Rowan long. Who knows? I could... He'll be like beer. <laughs> um, what's you? You haven't talked about shows or anything like that coming up. You yeah. got things coming up. Um, I have a cruise coming up. Oh, I saw that on your website, That's and very I was like, that looks expensive ticket, awesome. but really good. Get three concerts: Alaska, Alaska, moi, yeah. uh, food, Alaska, <laughs> moi, and food. Nice <laughs> and sheltered. Yeah, that ain't too bad. It's only one thousand three hundred and eleven dollars, and you have to get yourself to Vancouver. But it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Just before COVID, we'd almost gotten hooked up with playing the ferries going up and down there, uh, um, which would have been an amazing thing. It's like a yeah. week-long captive audience. Mm-hmm. And you know me. I'm all about the captive audience. <laughs> um, consent with all things except for listening to us. And... Um, I just that would have been a really really cool thing. It could but still happen. It could still it's happen. Still there. Yeah, things are still coming so back. Are the fairies. Oh, I know. Okay. I want to play a, a play a fairy festival that is just people dressed up as big boats. <laughs> I think that would be amazing. We do a lot of fairy festivals, but yeah, fairy yeah. that kind of fairy. Like, yeah, they could do that at Clearwater. Yeah, huh. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or I guess we could just go to a normal fairy festival for whatever given value dressed as a boat, dressed as a boat yeah. and like wait for really quiet moments when the children are like oh, and I'm cutting and pasting and the things and and then we'll throw glitter people and go oh <laughs> that's what fairies say right yeah with the, with glitter. the, with the reverb yeah uh, it's too much effort to press all those buttons <laughs> um <laughs> uh, I yeah cause me. Thr- it's so easy I amuse me um <laughs> You still haven't picked I a haven't song. Picked have a song. You? It's terrible, yeah. <laughs> Susan Werner just had an Alaskan cruise. Everybody's yeah. on their Alaskan cruises. I want to play on a cruise. Yeah. <sighs> yes. I can tell you the dude. <laughs> Is that as much fun as it seems, or do you end up being like cramped in a little thing and you throw up a lot? No, it's. I think it's big. It's a big cruise, okay. but only some of the people are on the fan club cru- cru- cruise, which get fan club t-shirts and the medallions medallions, medallions. wow okay, yeah kind of so yeah I want Sonia bling <laughs> <laughs> Sonia bling <laughs> yes it is so the fun thing is going to be dressing really warm and dressing really like for the cold and for the hot that's just touring all over though you know <laughs> that's true yeah that's true except it didn't have to fit in my car mm. I'm very uh you talk about going over to Germany and, and playing overseas and everything like that. And I think, that sounds great. How do I get my car there? <laughs> I think I'm absolutely terrified of the idea of leaving my car because my car has all my stuff. Yeah. My car has the sound system. What happens if the, the venue doesn't have a good sound system? <laughs> what happens if the venue <laughs> doesn't have... You worry about getting, I, I don't know, getting stuck with us. Yeah. Yeah. You, kind of, you know what? You will be very, very happy when you're touring in Europe, particularly Germany, because like many of the great products that they have coming out and the world uses the sound is superb I, I, there's amazing sound people there and the equipment's good and everything's 220 so you have so much power to move the same little thing and it's just that's whoa. a funny thing <laughs> I'd never thought about the 110 versus 220 huh 
I can't bring my own gear anyway. It'll blow it up. Yeah, right. Oh, you can't. Okay. You have okay. to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is a song I wrote on a cruise. There you go. I was... Uh, after my father died, my mom took me on a boat up and down the west coast of Mexico. Uh, and it was amazing. I didn't drink until that point, And then my mother and I went up and down the west coast of Mexico, sampling the tequilas of the haciendas. And um, it changed my world a little bit. Uh, but one of the sub-dramas, not sub-marine no. dramas, but like one of the sub-dramas that was going on, was there was this couple that was quite enamored with each other in that passionate way that also meant that the next day they weren't enamored with each other at all. And um, and uh, eventually they got thrown off the boat because they had been caught climbing on the side of the boat because they'd locked themselves out of their thing and the what you call it and they climbed naked past the, the guy's quarters and the something and the boobs and something and they got thrown off in somewhere in on an island. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Um meant to say was at one point she would be standing over me on the back of the boat with the guy attached to her arm and he'd be like neck nuzzle neck nuzzle and she'd watch me play guitar and she'd say I wish I knew anyone who was half as passionate as you are <laughs> and then she'd look at the guy nuzzling her and I was just like I'm in a terrible situation oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, this is one of the songs that I worked out on that thing. it has nothing to do with the cruise but <laughs> a song about it being allergic to the world. All this scratching has been getting me nowhere. Rubbing has been getting me high Well, thick skin blisters and uh, the blister is bled No one is listening, so no one is fed up Finger finds purchase and the paws gotta dig Saddle down deep to all you see is what you did I gotta have an allergy to the world today Is the only way to explicate what's been crossing my head yeah. Now by now we march Man by man we conquer Rabbit army rises Raging armor Now by now we march Man by man we conquer Rabbit army rises Raging armor All this scratching has been Getting me nowhere All this retching is Just a little rabbit cough will Thick skin blisters and uh, the blister is soft Digging hardens paws and the feeling falls right off Saddle taught me I love everything that it ought to Saddle taught his vision most efficiently Yeah, I gotta have an allergy to feeling anything at all today I gotta have a thick skin, thick skin, thick skin, thick, thick, thick Well, now, now, now we march Man by man we conquer Rabbit army rises Armor, now by now we march, man by man we conquer, rabbit army rises, region armor. Someone was whining about the price of gas today. Someone was whining about their twin SUVs yesterday. Well, I remember 9 11, someone caught solidarity, gave love, gave blood, gave cash, gave thanks. 923 suffering back to normal See he blamed Hussein for the gays and the gas tax Right that makes sense to me All this bitching has been Getting me nowhere All this rubbing has been Getting me a high will It shouldn't be coming as Any great thing My thick skin is thinning, yeah The blisters bleed Breaking me in ah, That's best done swiftly Breaking me down That could take some time Breaking out somewhere That's what I've been thinking Killing them quickly Never crossed my mind Now, now, now 
now we march Man by man we conquer Revan army rises A raging armor Now by now we march Man by man we conquer Revan army rises A raging armor It's like, and I'm playing the song. You know, you're you're always on these three levels of performance, or at least I am, where it's like, you're you're trying to keep this song going, right? Like, I wonder what the words are that are supposed to be coming up, and then for me, the fingers are on a whole other level. They're just like, and I'm like, huh, look at that. And if I look down and look at what they're doing, I'm screwed. <laughs> and then there's the third level that's just sort of like aware of my surroundings, and that third tier right, tonight was thinking, oh yeah, we're back in that place again where everyone's trying to blame everyone for the gas prices. <laughs> How lovely. Um, anywho. Yep. And I'm trying to remember, I wish I could remember exactly what the, what the context of that bridge part was. Because I remember there was one specific politician who had, who had, who had like in the course of a week mentioned the fact that like, well, gas taxes are out of control. And then shortly after that, they'd mentioned, well, this is all Saddam Hussein's fault. And then shortly after that, they'd been like, gas, is pr- gas prices are the punishment of uh, God for gay people. And I was just That's amazed. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> and I was just, I remember I would always write these little things down. And I remember red exclamation marks. Because <laughs> I was just like, oh, that's, I sort of want to, I want to put together the narrative. The great gay gas cabal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Which sounds like a gay pride event with beans. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're near, nearing uh, the end nearing when the we, end. yeah. When now we've got we, the, the gas attack. Yeah. The, <laughs> I don't even know where to go with that. The GGC. Yeah. The Great yeah. Gay Gas, oh, the Triple G, Triple GC. Great Gay Gas Call. <laughs> so we usually let our guests have the yeah. last song. I don't know if we, do we want to do we one more? Where did I get in there? So it could either be the last song or we could do one more yeah. bum bum bum. No, let's do one bum bum bum. Okay. 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 So play us a song, then we'll play a song, and then you wrap us out. Oh, yeah. Is that okay. all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's like, I don't know two more it. songs. Yeah. What are you mad? <laughs> My list only went to five. I only have 22 albums. I don't know. Um, you know what <laughs> Gordon happened? Gordon Nash is unbelievable. You know, what, you know what happened? Uh-oh. This is the funniest thing. So did you see me drop my pick yeah, during the song? Yeah. But still, I have a pick. I see you've got yeah, a lot of pickups on the, picks on the ground at this point. I do? Well, two of them. Well, the white one, like, mm-hmm. looking like this one, I just was playing with it for the beginning of that last song. And then I was like, this pick feels really wrong. Oh, did you have two of them in your hand? Uh, yeah, I was playing the whole first yeah. half of the song. That's never happened wow. before. Wow, okay. With yeah. two picks. <laughs> Double pick. <laughs> So I'd go like that, and I still had one. Nice. That would be yeah, you you did that, that and you looked pick. and you looked at me, and I was. That's the other man. See, you don't have any. No, there. I just I do this tape them on because they'll fly <laughs> off. And it's terrible. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> well, it works. It, it totally does work. Is. Yeah. It's very awesome. But you know, I, that's what I do. <laughs> How do you work for me? <laughs> it's called lick and stick. Just in case you want. Do you sell any lick and stick merch on your on your website? No, I don't, but I've been highly advised to. You really ought to. <laughs> <laughs> See, because there's no selling. It's like the anti-sell thing. Because um, we all have saliva. We can have a, as long as the pick is flat, it will stick. <laughs> Out there in Radio Land. <laughs> this has been amazing. <laughs> you guys, I love listening and talking with you and this is and and listening to you and just being in the room. I have the best seat on the planet, <laughs> definitely. Thank you, thank you. And very I much. feel so fortunate that you asked me oh, to be I'm a so part of this, thank you so much. and that you're here in yes. Baltimore. It's like this is really innovative stuff. There is, and there's, there's stuff in Baltimore that ain't anywhere else. We are a very fortunate city. I mean, we have a lot of misfortune too, but um, what an amazing nexus of stuff. It's it. Are you, as as in music, or are you being like music and art like, and yeah. culture and life and the universe and everything? I'm. I grew up in PG County, um, which 
is its own weird mix of things. Uh, and I grew up like with a go-go, go-go band down the street and stuff like that, but I grew up on heavy metal. And so it's sort of like my dad listened to bluegrass. Um, so it was already this sort of skirl. But then when, he, when I moved up to Baltimore and I realized there were go-go bands that would have heavy metal guitarists play with them with a bluegrass banjo player, and like all that <laughs> shit just came together naturally in Baltimore. And I don't know if this is... The, you know, usually when I'm talking to somebody, I can say, and, you know, I've toured all across this country and I'm quite well versed in what, and, you know, you, you make my tour footprint look like Bambi versus Godzilla. <laughs> um, but I, I think it probably stands true even with the greater breadth of experience. I'd like to think it does, that Baltimore really is quite unique. You go to L.A. and it doesn't mix like this, and you go to Austin and it doesn't mix like this. The cultures, the hip-hop, the, the rock, the folk... Um, I don't know if it does that other places in the world, but I think yeah, I think I think uh, unfortunately it stays to itself, but unfortunately, so which is good as far as the art goes because I think it burns very passionately, but at the same time it would be nice to have even more uh, opportunity to to for other people to sort of be in on our awesome secret. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I know every town thinks they've got the awesome secret, but I think. We've got the context to say, no, really, there is no other place where, where the different artists really come together and mush it, mush it together like we yeah. do. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I, th- I think. Too. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Hey, Rick, good to see you. <laughs> a CD of Exhibit A, um, but it's it was taken off of iTunes or something, but we're going to put it back. It's total punk. <laughs> wait, wait, hold, how, do, how does punk go again? <laughs> how do you do it? How do you do it? I think I, I think the defining thing for punk for me is, oi, 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 because I think okay. of the Britpunk sort of side yeah, of things, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's good, too. <laughs> oh, I am an Nancy Christ. <laughs> I saw something that Black Flag's playing somewhere. What? Yeah. It's like... You gotta stay to, close to the mic so people... Yeah, I think Black Flag's playing that's somewhere. That's nuts. I know. Oh, cool. And, yeah. Cool. But you want to you wanna go to a punk show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> um, is this the one we... Um... we let's play this one, yeah. This is Farmland on the Sky. And it's about the preciousness of the moment. And um, um, thank, I just want to just say thank you again for having me. Thanks for tuning in. And um, I'm at soniadisappearfear.com. Um, lots of stuff on my website. And I totally always forget, but, but it's got a lot of stuff. And, and we're, we're putting l- links up there. Too. Awesome. And links to my YouTube and all that stuff, too. And thank you. And we hope that you subscribe to our channels <laughs> because it really, really helps us. Do you want to yeah. end with this? Um, Grab it out that way? If you want oh, to. We've got more time to, to go, but like it also feels like that might be a good okay. way to... Okay, I'd be very happy with that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do that then. Okay. This, <laughs> this was like sending me into Nirvana heaven before this happened. We didn't do the whole song, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's right. Wrong Nirvana. Is, is that, is, was that Wild Thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> or the other one. <laughs>
Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you for including on this. Us on that. <laughs> thank you. My goodness. Yeah, I think that's a good place to end it. There's one thing I want to check. Oh, there's one thing you want to check. He's checking. <laughs> so again, we have been Ilyami and Sonia Disappear Fear. We do this every Wednesday. Oh, and it's just torrentially pouring outside. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of water. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> would you would you be willing to play your tune "Me Too" yes. um, mm. as a as an extra bonus for yeah. us? I guess. Um, yeah. I, uh, you, I we can't send you out into that storm. Play another, <laughs> um, or something like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. There's no real reason we can't just keep going. Mm. But uh, we try to stick to the seven to nine for the for the sake of the neighbors. But I would I would love to hear that tune. And it's in G. That'd be great. Oh. Happy Pride, everybody. It's okay. It's okay to be loving. It's okay to come out. It's okay to even be happy sometimes, just because the sun is shining, or just because there's there's a torrential rainstorm. (laughs) Her daddy was a soldier in the Vietnam War. She was proud to see her father in a fresh-pressed uniform. 
uniform He came home on a stretcher In 1966, welcome back Fellow Americans throwing tomatoes and sticks He said, darling, don't you worry There are two sides to everything And I did what I believe in And I want you to do the same I stood up for my country Everybody has a war You see it's not about oil And it's not about guns And it's not about rainbows It's about daughters and sons If you believe in tomorrow Then I have taught you well As if you don't believe in yourself lives living hell the wish I Thank you. Uh, that's a good way. That's nice. Yeah, that's a really good way to end. 
Uh, Jamie Katz is out there wondering what the song before that was called that we, we played with you. Oh, it's called Farmland and the Sky. Farmland and the Sky. That's available on your album... Broken Film. Broken Broken, f- broken Film? Uh-huh. And broken it's Film. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it might also be on Live at Moximal, but I'm not sure. So buy them both. <laughs> um, Jamie, I hope that you're coming to Maryland sometime soon because I have no freaking clue when we're making it back to North Carolina. <laughs> and to everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. We do this every Wednesday. Uh, next week, is it just it's the two I of us? I think it might just be us. I don't Aww. know. We'll see. Anything we'll see. could happen. Anything could happen. Yeah, maybe Sonia will come back. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> she's, she's like, I need a break. This is okay. Um, no, 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 no. I would love to, but just not next week because I'm in the studio all day. And uh, I'm studio. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the week after that, I think, is Connor Brendan. Mm. And uh, fresh back from, he's moved back to Baltimore from Nashville. And then uh, anything could happen, anything could happen, anything happen. At the end of the next month, we're going to have The Honest Mistakes uh, celebrating their freaking marriage anniversary. And the idea that wow. what they want to do is spend <laughs> their anniversary with us, that ain't too bad. That ain't too shabby. They're old, old friends. And uh, it'll be really good to see them. So, um, And I'm, their name is The Freaking Mistakes. The, the Honest, Honest Mistakes. Honest Chris, mistakes. Chris and Joy Lane are The Honest cool. Mistakes. And... Um, I am just so grateful that uh, we can have friends over for dinner and a show. <laughs> it's kind of rad. Um, and we are live from the lair every Wednesday. We are Ilyami. My name is Rob. This is Kristen Jones. And this is, of course, Sonia Disappear Fear. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Uh, Thank you, everybody. Have a real safe night. Enjoy the rain if you're in the rain. Good night, guys. Thanks, Gordon. We love you, too. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we love him. Gordon Nash has to tune in some other time, get his favorite song. I ain't gonna play it now, but he wants to song about Dune, desert planet of Dune, oh, the beautiful planet of Dune.